We're heading to Hackett's class today. We got word that he wants to do something very special with this class, and we don't even know what that is, so we're gonna find out alongside with you. So we're coming in in Cal High School now, and hopefully we're gonna have some fun. Parks out every morning, I'm gonna find a post office. Which... So we're in class now, and we found out today there was a special speaker from Postcard Connect. Postcard Connect is a registered nonprofit organization dedicated to connecting people via postcards. They travel around the United States and the world and have people fill out postcards. They then send the cards to veterans, children's hospitals, and anyone else who would like to receive one. And this is Trey Small, the founder and CEO of Postcard Connect. So what's your favorite thing about doing Postcard Connect? Getting to meet all the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you really go across this country and meet some absolutely incredible people. And one of the things I, I always say is, you know, this is the best universal key you'll ever find. I and mean, you get to, it opens so many doors, you get to meet so many people, and everybody tunes into it right away. I, it's very rare that you meet somebody that says, ah, I'm not interested. Right. Everybody likes it, everybody loves it. And, and I've said, you know, it's just as cathartic for the people writing the postcards as it is great for the people getting the postcards. Everybody likes to take part in this and be a part, and our network grows every time we do. What'd you run on your cards? Uh, I just told whoever's reading this that they're amazing. He showed to the point. Yes. I put a little smiley face too. I wrote, whoever is trying to bring you down is already below you. Don't lose your fight, kid. When life gets tough, keep your head high and follow to the beat of your own drum. This class is so nice. <laughs> All right, what do you got? I said, the impossible is just an infinity yet to be discovered. Who said that? I did. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. That's awesome. <laughs> My favorite story for me, uh, we were out in Moab, Utah, and a lot of the businesses out there print their own postcards for free. And I grabbed a bunch, threw them in a bag, and I was, at, I was out one night, and a lady ducked through the bag, pulled one out. She pointed across the street and said, hey, this is my postcard from my bakery. This is Red Rocks Bakery. It's my bagel shop. And I said, oh, cool. We're right on your postcard. So she wrote on it, and she turned it into a $10 gift card. And I went in her bagel shop the next morning, and I got a picture of her holding it behind the counter at her bagel shop, holding her postcard. And I mailed it to a friend of mine in Staten Island, New York, uh, my friends Tim and, and Kylie. And and they took a road trip across the United States a year later. I woke up one morning to a text message from them, and it was a picture of Tim and Kylie and the bagel shop owner in her bagel shop in Moab. That postcard went from Moab, Utah to Staten Island, New York, and then all the way back to Moab, and that was their breakfast that morning. What did you write on your card? Wait, I thought I was a professional. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Did you write You're something? Crazy. Yeah, I wrote something, yeah. What you write? Oh, your postcard. So, I wrote that you should never give up. Like, no matter, well, it, it's not here, but I thought of it. <laughs> uh, somebody that I've known for, for a number of years since I was in school, she sent me a message and said, my husband Bruce just got some really bad medical news today and he could use a pick-me-up, could you get him a nice card? And I was in the gift shop of the International Spy Museum, actually buying postcards from the gift shop there. And I found this German tourist and I asked him to write on a card and he wrote a really obscure passage for an author I'd never heard of. He wrote this, this really nice passage out of a book and I mailed it and a couple days later, Karen messaged me on Facebook and said, hey, I got the postcard. I have no idea who this author is, but I'm sure Bruce is going to love it. And when he got home, he took one look at the postcard. He goes, oh, well, he goes, that's one of my favorite authors and, and that's my favorite book by him. And he went over to the bookshelf and pulled the book down and opened the page to the page where that a passage occurs in, in, in that book. And he really treasured that that postcard. Uh, and it was it was really nice. You know, he ended up passing uh, not too many months later. And at his funeral, uh, his his wife took me around and introduced me because it, it meant a lot that, that he got that postcard. Mm -hmm. And it was just a simple thing. And like I always say, it, you know, somebody took the time to put pen to paper and express a thought to somebody they've never met and likely never will meet. And it meant so much to him to get that. What's your card? I said perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Who said that? I don't know. Did you make it up? <laughs> yeah, I did. You, this class is insightful. Yeah. All right, what's on your card? I got nothing. <laughs> That's what you should write. I got you should write. Maybe you're a teacher. Or maybe you have a group that you'd like them to come visit. Maybe you'll come out to them now. Absolutely. Would love Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Is and there a way they can connect with you? Yes, they can find us on our website on postcardconnect.org. And they can also find us through our Instagram page, which is Postcard Connect, and then our Facebook page, Postcard Connect. Right. And they can send us a request. And we travel. We, it doesn't matter where we love. You know, our, our statement is anyone, anywhere, the mission never ends. We will travel to come and do these postcards. All right, that's cool. So postcards is the name of the game. Ballpark, last question. How many postcards do you think you've sent out total? Thousands.
Thanks for watching QAC TV. Yeah, like, yeah, like, really, thanks a lot. <laughs>